Hi everybody, uh, welcome uh, back to Chris Jones Beach, Jerry here. Uh, today I'm going to do something fun, actually I did this the other day and uh, it was pretty exciting. Um, I'm going to start doing a series of videos on some different kind of old uh, vintage uh, casting tackle. Um, today we're going to be fishing with, this is the pen number 77 Seahawk. Uh, it is a direct drive reel, meaning that the handle uh, is direct with the spool so that handle will spin on your cast. There is no drag on this reel. Um, there's no anti-reverse and we do have the luxury of a bait clicker. So it's pretty fun stuff. It should be pretty exciting. Um, I'll give you a little tidbits on the reel as we fish but uh, I'm gonna bait up here and uh, get started. Let's see what happens. We get as just as far as we need to get. Engage that clicker. One thing with these reels is you want to make sure if you're using braided or daiquiri line, make sure it's wet. The, the line will burn your thumb on its way out. So keep that in mind. So I'm just wetting my line now. Very slow retrieve, so if you get something fairly big um, coming in on the surf, you might want to walk back. This is probably a sea robin. You see my line? You got to watch out. You see the line? It's very close to the gutter there. You don't want it to go in. And it may have. And of course, we got a sea robin. All right, let's get him out and get back out there. Uh, like I was showing, just watch out for your line because you can get inside there. You, you use thicker line. Uh, it won't go in, but I'm using a little bit thinner. This is probably a tad too thin, so pay attention when you're bringing your line back on. So I just wanted to show you that. You don't want your line to go I'm in I'm using uh, bunker baits today, and I'm just cutting some chunks. Medium size. And this will be the bait of the day. Now ideally, while well, bait fishing with a clicker, a uh, circle hook uh, lends itself nicely. Uh, so I'm going to use a circle. Uh, just when you're using these, make sure you've got a lot of hook exposed. And just a, enough for that gap to settle in. And I always snow them so it forms like a trap. You can see that will hook into the corner of its mouth. Let's see what happens. That's why they call them knuckle busters. You don't want to get your hand caught in there. Oh, it's been slow fishing. Probably hook into something. It's probably a small, small sand shark. Don't feel much big, but... I will keep the clicker on for now. Big fish you really want to definitely keep their clicker on. Coming in now, maybe the bite will start. Robin again. All right, let's do now these reels, like I said, they have no drags. The only drag you have is your thumb. Uh, if we were fishing for bigger, bigger fish, 
uh, hopefully maybe we'll get something but you might want to even put a piece of leather on there that's why you always want to make sure your line is wet you will burn the skin of your thumb off with a big big fish or something like a shark or whatnot I was hitting 10 12 pound sand sharks uh, with this and they were taking some nice runs so I'm hoping you know at least we'll get a couple of those all right, let's get uh, back to when fishing. When bait fishing like this, keep in mind you got uh, three senses you can use. You got sight, that's your rod tip and your line that you're looking at. You got feel, you can feel the line and you can feel the rod tip. And at night, a big one is you got sound. That's your bait clicker. Um, of course, at night, you're, you're going to lose your vision most likely unless you use lights and you got two of your three senses, feel and sound. So just keep that in mind when detecting a bite. Got a sea rod. Again. All right, this is good. This is some fish you should be pushing in. So my battery. Act. Now the sea hook is actually a popular reel in uh, the turn of the century. Uh, this is a newer one. This one's is from the 70s. This is mine. I've had this for the longest time, uh, but. Uh, people use these to feed their families uh, when they couldn't get food after the during and after the Great Depression. So it's it's a piece of uh, history, and uh, it is a bit of an art using them. Hopefully we'll get something big by the end of the night. But these reels are fun to use. And it does take a degree of skill to manage them. If I get anything big, I'll show you what I mean. It's, uh, they're kind of fun to use. And this is all you need out here. I mean, there's no need to buy anything really expensive. It feels like another sea robin, so... Get stock, we'll probably hopefully get us some sand stock and hopefully some big ones. But we'll see. There he is. Alright, let's uh, get him going and get back out. Got away. That might have been a sand shark. Oh, he's still there. Got him. You can see how these circle hooks lend nicely. Uh, of course, they you use your thumb as the drag. So you just kind of lay your thumb down. Of course, it's got a very slow retrieve, so you should walk back on the beach if you need to to keep your slack out of your line. Either a bigger robin or a medium uh, sand shark. Just work them in now. And, then, and use your rod tip too to pick up a uh, line if you have to. They seem to be thickening up now as it's getting dark out. And keep your eye on that gutter like I was saying. They are fun to use. They really are. What is he? Oh yeah, he's a small sand jar. See? It's a small one. So hopefully we get a big ripper soon. Alright, let's get him on his way and we'll get back out. Okay, we're gonna let him go. Push picture. That's uh It's getting dark now, so... Engage the clicker. And, uh, I gotta cut some bunker and stuff, so I'm gonna fight this. Okay, now we're, uh, we're into the sand sharks now. And there he is. You can see they're small. So I might just keep this smaller hook on for now. 
get him on his way. Pretty cool. I'm gonna go with a little bit bigger hook. This is um, a 12-0 uh, gapped uh, circle hook. Uh, I gap them. I make them a little wider and uh, I snell them. So I'm going to drop this guy. It's 80 pound mono. And I'm just going to do a simple three turn knot because we're not going to be generating uh, anywhere near 80 pounds of drag. So you do not need a fantastic super knot. Just do something quick and easy. And that's it. I'm going to fish the rest of the night out with this, a couple more bunker, and then call it a night. Here's a good one. Get out there. This is a tiny one. Tiny shark. Little guy. Oh, we got a rupper. I don't know what he is, but he's definitely a bigger one. This may take a little to get him in. This is fun. This is what I've been waiting for. <laughs> Probably just a big uh, dogfish, but... You can see I'm walking way back on the beach. You really need to do that to keep your slack. And you can gain ground as he works in. And keep your eye on the gutter of that reel. Uh, it can slip inside if it's too thin. I hope you guys can see. But this, these reels, <laughs> they fish it like this exciting. You never know what you're going to get at night. He's throwing out bait. He's probably just a big, big sand shark, but, or medium sand shark. Things get kind of dramatic with these little uh, direct drive reels. Remember, there's no drag. You see that turning? But the amount of drag you can generate with your thumb is quite impressive, so. Oh. He's straight. Oh, there he's a big, big sand shark. Bigger, bigger dogfish. Here he comes now. Okay. Try to get him in with the next wave. Okay. There he is. That was. That was fun. Wow, he's a nice one. He's a good 8 pounds at least, 10 pounds. Awesome looking creatures, that's for sure. Alright, let's get him on his way. And thank him for that, that thrill. Thank you. You can see why they call them knuckle busters if you saw that, that handle spinning around. Now if you get a fish twice as big as him, it's really going to be spinning. And you really should use a piece of leather. Uh, if you're going to be, uh, say, you know, aiming for bigger, bigger fish. You can see these circles actually lend nicely to the bunker. I like them. And uh, they, they cater well to those sharks' mouths. Oh, let's get out there. See, he's a little one. Those big hooks we picked up another little guy. I thought we'd get a few more big ones mixed in, but... Get them going. And these guys can take your booze. You know, they can take sand, as you can see. They can take salt. Uh, very little maintenance. Uh, a little oil and 
Uh, see, I put too much, a little uh, oil. I use motor oil on my reels, but uh, then you're good to go. Oh, let's get this out there. That's a good one. That's the biggest one yet. Nice. A little bigger than the other ones. Let's see. Oh, he's a good, he's over four feet long, you can see. Oh, yeah. He's up there. Up to here. That's, that's close to four feet. These guys are just fun. Fun to catch and when you're doing it, you know, the way you want to do it, makes it even more fun. So, I'm going to uh, unhook them. And, uh, let's see. I'm going to get them on his way, unhook them. I uh, usually I'll keep the ones if I foul hook them, but I haven't done that yet, so let's get them going. Ooh, that's might make a good picture. Hi, right, everybody. Uh, I'm uh, getting ready to go. I think I'm going to head out. Still, uh, sand sharks fighting and uh, little ones. Uh, maybe big ones. But I just wanted to thank you for watching. Um, I got a couple more pieces of bait I'm going to throw. And uh, if I get anything good, of course, I'll throw it in the clip. But I uh, just wanted to take the time to say thanks for watching. Uh, hope you uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, like, dislike, uh, check out those reels online, and uh, as always, love your comments, and uh, remember, fish your way. Have fun out there, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.